So hello again, here's a short video where I'm going to show how to, well, an example of how to uh, add some more stuff to this uh, table of card data uh, and adding a column saying which uh, uh, which cards I'm going to use in my deck. Uh, and then we're going to eventually run some simulations on that deck to get some probabilities and probability distributions on it. So I am going to add a new column here. I'm going to call it in deck. And then I'm going to just add some ones here to some places. And I happen to know we have basic lands somewhere. Here we have them. I'm not a magic player, so I don't know how to uh, create a good deck, but never mind. Now I'm also going to add some more white land. This is how many values do we have? 12. And I should have twice that in a good deck. Uh, I recently learned. So let's use white and I guess this is blue. Yes. I'm going to copy these four here. And these 12 ones I'm going to add here. What's the sum right now? I have 36 cards. I should have uh, 60 cards in a deck. So, oops. so I'm going to add a bit more. And how much do I have now? 51. Give me nine more then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Was that perhaps 10? No, 60 cards. Okay, so that's good. Uh, now I've disturbed the column numbers, so let's rearrange those like that. And that also means that I have to change all the column numbers here. Uh, in deck is zero, and all the others go up by one. I could have added uh, the new column to the end of the table, but I didn't. Okay, let's just make sure this works. So I didn't break anything. Uh, the cards in deck, the uh, Arborea Pegasus. Very nice. And if I go down here, this is probably not in the deck. No. Okay. So what I want to do now is just to add a little if statement here, go looping through all the card data. I'm just going to add the cards uh, that are in my deck. Let's actually call this deck instead of cards. That makes more sense. Deck. So for each line that I read, I'm going to have a look at if uh, card we could. Let's actually do it like this. I build the object first, the card object. This is wasting clock cycles, but clock cycles are cheap. If card dot in deck, a one in the in, uh, in deck property uh, will be interpreted as true and uh, an empty value will be interpreted as false. So this is a, a fair uh, statement. I could have written is equal to one as well, but I didn't. Then uh, push the card into the deck, otherwise don't. Let's run this. And now my deck contains 60 cards, and that's nice. Okay, so far so good. Um, it would have, if this was a real project of mine, I would have put the, this if statement up here instead. So I first check if column zero, in this case, uh, contains a one, then do all this stuff. Uh, but this is a bit this is a bit quicker. Oh, and I, I did use this notation for accessing a property of, of an object without mentioning it. OK, so I could have written like this card square brackets in deck. Those two ways of, of writing are uh, um, identical. Well, do the same thing.
but a faster way of doing it is card dot in deck works if you have a uh, normal naming if it would have a space here things would break uh, there are ways of go working around that but we're not going into those details now okay so now we have a deck of 60 cards uh, those cards i'm going to be using and doing some simulations on great see you in the next video bye